the previous parts of this video series on building the B-17, we looked at putting the interior into the aircraft, in other words, painting and installing the parts that are on the inside, how to paint the interior, how to wash all the ribs so it all jumps out. Um, we looked at how to assemble, how to glue parts together, in other words, how to test fit, clean the paint off, glue things together so they all fit. Um, and as you can see, I'm at the point where I've got all the major assemblies together. I've got the fuselage built, I've got the wings built, and you can see this thing's massive. And one of the reasons I wanted to do 132 scale was so it was bigger and you guys would be able to see things better as I do them. So the next element that we're going to look at is preparing this guy for paint. So before we can put any color on it, we're going to need to look at all the areas where I assembled it that may need to be sanded, a little bit of putty, clean up, so that it doesn't leave any seam lines or any, anything that doesn't look scale or accurate. So we're going to look at cleaning up parts, looking at the seam lines, getting the prep done, in other words, masking off where the clear glass is, putting some primer on it, a little bit of putty sanding, a little more primer until we get ready to paint. So let's move ahead and let's look at preparing the model before painting. So I have my B-17 here. I have it glued together. I have the wings glued together. They're downstairs. This thing's so big I can't have it all up here at once until I put the wings on. But everything's ready. Everything's sanded down. I've done the best I can sanding all around all the parts where I put the cabin roof on and the nose section on and the tail section. So it's sub-assemblies on here that I've gone ahead and gone around and sanded the best I can to match everything up and make everything look even. You don't want seam lines and uh, mismatch of your parts, you know, where they're not at the same level. Um, so I've sanded everything down. Now what I'm going to do is get it ready to prime. I want to prime this thing so that I can get paint on it. And I'll prime the wings separate and the nose and, you know, the fuselage section tails. I'll do it all separate. But before I put them together and prime them, I need to clean them up. And this guy is pretty ready except for puttying. I need to do some filling along the windscreen edge in the front. I don't know if you guys can see that. Bring it over here. There's a gap here and a gap here. And I'm going to use a two-part epoxy putty for that, which is this Aves epoxy. Let's see. This is really good stuff. You mix an equal amount of both, make two little balls, squeeze them together, you know, knead it together until it's, you know, mixed up. And then I'll take a tool and I'll fill in the gap with the epoxy putty. The reason I do that is that it's a it's a physical gap and I want to build some structure there and strength and this epoxy is like putting epoxy glue in it and what's nice is you can work it down with water as it dries so that you can smooth this area out. It's really nice to work with. Um, on regular seams and things where I think it just needs a little bit of cleanup and a little putty, I can use like this Tamiya white putty or gray. I like their gray putty when I'm working with gray primer. Um, and I also use, I like Nitro Stand which is a red automotive putty. I use those. Those you thin down with a little bit of lacquer thinner. But the easiest way to put it on, the red putty or the green putty or the white putty, the modeling putties, is to take some of it on one of these silicone brushes. These are from AK Interactive. Silicone brushes. And what that means is it's a, it looks like a paintbrush, but it has a silicone rubber tip, which is really great for working with putty because modeling putties won't stick to this brush. They'll stick to your model when you put it on, but the brush will be able to smooth it over and these work really really well so I highly recommend AKI silicone brushes really really good tool fantastic tool so I'm gonna putty things resand it a little bit we'll mask the windows off and then shoot it with a lot of primer and see how it looks
I've gone ahead and I've puttied everything I think needs to be puttied and sanded down and cleaned up. 
and after I shoot the first coat of primer I'll probably see some areas that need to be touched up as well but the next step before I prime on this fuselage will be to close off any openings so paint doesn't get in and I don't want to put the clear parts on yet because it's just primer I'm, I'm testing things out don't want to mess any clear parts up so you can see right on the top here I cut a circle of masking tape out and put it over the top gunners area so paint won't go in so what I'm gonna do now is show you a trick that I'll use to cut out the pieces to mask off the windows there's a lot of them so let me show you how I do that and we'll move on from there <laughs> 